So, ready for the assault? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Kill him! I see no ducals along the road. They must not be guarding it. Sir, Roderick, Roderick was Roderick right. They can flee. flee. Company. Sintrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where are they now? In. in the keep. Ready in their escape. There's someone with them? Woman named Siana? Of. of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together, and... old fool. 
I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. Where are they now? In... in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them? Woman named Siana? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together, an old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Where's the hostage, the woman? Uh, what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. What? What will become of me? Here, press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. I... I thank you. Giving you one last chance. Yield. The dead harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! You could use our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then.
Nana. Are you... Are you hurt? If any of them... You know me. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sianna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Giving you one chance to tell us everything yourself. I've nothing to tell. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Sianna, and Sianna is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Sianna was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. Hmm. Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. to the ground. This, I promise you. You three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well... It truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace.
And you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire, ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover, staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire. What? You know him? Who is he? Detlof. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazaire. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and- Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. Upset's just not a sensation I feel, ever. Mutations, remember? Mm, yes, of course. The excuse you resort to whenever you'd rather not talk about something. Observant of you. So let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood. Another they... word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siona is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the batu to it. All within an hour. You, witcher, have had a week. 
the aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Then perhaps your grace should have sent a beagle instead of a witcher after the vampire. <gasps> you tread on thin ice, witcher. Very thin. Wisdom demands you choose your words more cautiously. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the pole landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. War this Detlef wants. It's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer in you. Get her out of here. Siana failed to appear as summoned, and there, Detlef was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlef out, a way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. 
That just treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme. Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is- Yeah, a... figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Hurry. Damien could be in danger. Or dead. Do you think so? He seemed battle-hardened. More than a few scraps of his belt. Against humans, not monsters. Vampires would heed a higher vampire's call and commands. As a rule, they don't. So how Detloff sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thoughts. They'll continue attacking until he orders them to back down until he dies.
itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. If we'd only arrived a bit earlier. They broke formation. Ran. That scent. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Barricade put up in the street. Pointless. That's nasty. Fell on his face. Struck in the back. Tried to run. They must have realized they could not hold this position. Hope they found a corner to hide in. Won't be anyone to talk to if not. Come on! to come back. A knight's body. Must be in the bank. Eric came on themselves inside. I cannot let them see me. Recognize the vampire. If you you must manage alone. I'm certain. I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien. Conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Had a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial. In custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. 
I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess Loxiana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's beyond this door. Careful! Shit. Probably meant to stand guard at honor Henrietta's personal request. fight with his door. Would you mind? Not at all. Thanks. At your service. Something inside? No, empty. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Tableware and plush toys. Rather like you. a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. And perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. 
I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blood is damned, or cursed. What's accuser? In the melodious tongue of our non too friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by lazy chambermaid. Nice tune. Indeed, pleasant. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. A tin knight. Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture. it? Let's see. Regis? Regis!
land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. I have Nahelene's going wild. All land's an illusion, but so powerful there's no way to dispel it. Open it. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. as soon as I catch you. The Wicked Witch. Oh, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but... but I haven't got them. Oh. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta. She ordered them buried all over, so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know, because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo! Ah, all right. So why is it you're here?
Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care Morn as a little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadlove. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlove, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Detloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Detloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duvac, Aqua, Peyrek, Peyron? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Sorry, but that's no excuse. I didn't tell you so you would pardon me. I was only hoping you would understand. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Otorius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, 
What exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. Watch out! Pixies! Not the friendliest pixies I've met. Put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. Someone here! Someone 
Faster. Come on, you... You... You know what? They need names. I'll call mine... Me. I'm me. Call mine, Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Ugh. That's it, Roach. <laughs> Faster. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what? No! Not on your life. I can barely stand I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige, but it won't be easy. The thing is, little Red Riding Hood's popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Jest, I adored her. My darling little sis. So adorable. So sweet. Yet when they banished me from the palace, she didn't so much as peek out of the window. She might not have known. 
maybe just couldn't. And could she also not grant me amnesty when she was crowned? Please. Jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. They better to see you, with my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. They better to embrace you, with my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you is, my dear! Oh, rat bastard! about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? 
That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazir, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. stacked atop each other. What was the tail called again? The musicians of Blaviken. Huh. You've some link to the town as well, don't you? not much like this one. Oh, the three little pig's homes. You know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Show me what you got. Oh, Pumbotch, they didn't like that. That's one thing down. Good work. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a beam. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this. A jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. So, do you like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? Gorilla? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tail are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Fine, I'll pay. 
pay you for the ribbon. This enough? It's enough. Now go away. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. It's always grapple up the grave in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing stuff and strong suit. Ah! So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Detlaf was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn.
to use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detlof now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower. Then prepare to meet the giant. Giving me no choice. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly, very abruptly. We must be careful. All right, toss them.
incredible. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... him. That was one tough son of a wench. I told you this land had gone ape mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. That so? How? Plan to use me like you did Detloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way. not to be trusted. Just curious. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal line? They were my right, my due. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, you need one.
portals in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. Which, luckily, she noted down in her diary. Thus, I knew where to await you. But never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Calm down, both of you. But... No buts. Let's go. I really want to be done with this. place isn't it offers a lovely view of the valley on a clear day you can see the outlines of Duntine is it though a ruin like any other I think uh, so sensitive so aware honestly what did Declaf ever see in you perhaps he'll tell you himself Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? She will pay! You never should have meddled, Butcher!
Gabriel! Didn't plan any of it. Silence! Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declan ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Let's get ready. Dadloff will be here any moment now. deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? The ribbon? Ha! Seems 
I've been fooled again. She will pay for this sooner or later. She will pay! You never should have meddled with her!
Gone. I can't let you. I insist. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. 
Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Wine vapors in the air must have gone to your head, Regis. It's over. Detloff's dead. Won't be any more murders. You're entitled to your opinion. I, however, will check this. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. They paid me to do. That's it. Hire a witcher. It's a good thing. What exactly do you do here? Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. 
May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly. But she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Your Grace. As head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. They are what matters. I must not forget this. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you.
need some flowers. A wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children. All wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know. Her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, uh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? No one suspected Sian would be merciless. Not Damien, not me. Least of all the Duchess. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself, but you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. To Cass is dead. What will become of us? <laughs> to bury the murderous lass in one crypt with the Duchess. It's not decent. Matter or not. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta.
bring you. Rest in peace. I regret it ended this way, that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. Deaths I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical, pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins?
I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire, after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Regis! Those Bruxae, eh? they called you a traitor. Alas. We have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently rising to a, a startling finish, don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like. To just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilf Guardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, 
I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.